So last night I put in some of these little spiky bits on the corner to see what that would look like for like a corner because we're going to kind of fence this in. In fact, I'm playing around with the shapes right now to see what's going to look best. These are like the industrial fence bottoms, but there's also the industrial fence top spiked, which might just fit the theme a little bit better. What do we kind of think of that? Maybe I'll just put both of them up for... Uh, today and see what one in fact I think I do like the spiked ones better let's just switch that over and solidify it and I'm just placing these in such a way that they're occupying like not this space over here because we have the dew collectors here and oh with the ceiling okay we'll get to construction later I've been building for like two or three days non-stop I feel like so I'm gonna get kitted up here what do we need anyway? We need some gear and we need to go grab a quest from Huey over there. Probably a tier four. And we'll see what trouble we can get into this morning. Really, most of all, I think we're hurting for like a good pistol, I think. Pistol, something fully automatic. AK-47 would be nice, something to use the 762. We'll see if we can get lucky out looting today. Good morning, Hugh. I didn't already have a job, did I? I did not. Okay, we've got some good ones today, too. Clear zombies. You want money to North at the Dumpsey Clinic. Never heard of that well, before. What about this one? Oh, that's the Munch's Plaza. We don't want that. Work, okay, to the Dumpsey Clinic. Wherever the heck that is. Don't forget, stock up on ammo before you leave. Whatever it is, it is in the downtown area, so we'll have to be extra careful while we're out here today. It's gonna be dangerous. Here we go. This is the Dumpsey Clinic. Some kind of a specialty medical clinic, maybe? Some dead bodies out front. That's ominous. All right, in the alley is the quest marker back here. Let's hit it. We have some spikes. I have some spikes. I might want more spikes, though. Is there a tree that I could knock over here somewhere? Yeah, couple out front here. One and two. Wood spike straps. Six more of those. That should be good. Oh, I suppose that's probably where we come out, isn't it? Hmm. I don't know. I'm kind of curious now to, to go down here and see what's going on. Whoop. Zombie. Hello there. D-S-O-T Moon 32. Also known as Slim Shady. Um, yeah, I kind of want to do this. Let's, let's just get in here. Let's go night vision. Helmet light off. Whoop. Did I wake somebody up? Oh, I did. Oh, there they are. I didn't even have a chance because we can't sneak on the ladder, so... Oh, well, I guess we're just thinning out the end loot area zombies. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, we got Laboss here. Laboss sounds like he's got a frog in his throat. You okay there, buddy? Just get strep throat or something down there? Yeah, all that dirty water. Let's... Yeah, let's just continue this way. We are here to clear the area. We've got to kill all the zombies. And it doesn't matter which way we do it from. This is the main chest right here. We could just snag the loot. I'm not opposed to that. There we go. We're in. Let's go rogue hood on. And check the loot here. We get a new assassin hood. Nice. And some other stuff. Nothing special there. And before I chop that box open, let's just take the burning shaft off of that. I don't know why. I've been sporting a burning shaft. Trying to do stealth around here. There we go. We're a little bit more stealthy now. Oh, and we should be saving the magazines, right? We'll bring those home and read them with the nerd hood. Kind of tedious, but, you know, if I can do it, I should probably do it. A little bit of extra junk here. Good. All right. I'm going to go drop that off in the bike, and then I'll, we'll probably just proceed through the normal pathway here. Okay, let's get in here the normal way. We'll head to the rooftop and work our way down. It's more difficult to miss zombies if you're going on the intended pathway. What do we got over here? A couple of sleepers. Just gonna be sporting the pistol, mostly. It's just so effective. The combination of my Assassin Hood, which is now even better, I put the level 4 one on, plus the Preacher Gloves, plus all the points I have in sneaking, it's just too good. I mean, it's not always perfect, but... I bet if I was going a little bit slower, it'd be like 100% perfect. And I think I have that book where I land silently when I'm sneaking, so... And just drop right into little trap zones like this and I'm completely safe to do so. Take some of the cement home with me and save the forge ahead for reading later. Whoop. Shush, shush, shush. Quiet, quiet, quiet. <laughs> it's so good. Arlene slept through that whole ordeal. Like we got that nice crossbow. Is that, is this garbage that I need to be? Yeah, it is garbage. It looks, 
looks unusual. Can I just have night vision for a second? Because I can see some zombies in here. Yep. Oh, there's one. Two. Yeah, it's going to be a lot easier to stay stealthy now without the flaming fire axe. <laughs> it's like I know these things, but sometimes there's a disconnect between what I know to be true and what I want to be true. And I want to be a barbarian with a flaming fire axe, but <laughs> I also want to be stealthy. Looks like we're heading back out. There's Rapasso there. Sometimes takes more than one shot. That's all right. As long as I can get the drop on him, I'm good. Okay, I guess we're just continuing down the stairs. We cleared out, I guess, the top two levels. Now we got the bottom two plus the basement, I think. Here we go. Lights out again. Tell you what, man, this night vision thing, what a godsend this was. Where did we even find this? We found this in like some cabin out in the middle of nowhere in the burnt biome, I think. This is where it gets a little tough right here. There's someone behind the countertop and I'm going into like a well-lit area here. Can I just, whoop, there we go. This is Maddie Walker here. Gonna take a couple shots, it's a fair, whoop. Where did she go? Hopefully that was worth my time. It was, okay, she's just trapped in the drop ceiling. Heavy fog is rolling in out here. Okay, down to the next level, which I kind of just automatically woke this guy up here. Mistress Nick. No, 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 close that, whoop. Whoop, now I'm waking everybody up. All right, dog. And switch over to the burst mod pistol that I have. That's working pretty good. Raven here. Yeah, I don't think that was avoidable. That was just a big mess of zombies that was gonna wake up either way. Nope, thought we had some more. We just have some corpses down here. We do have a working vending machine. Oh my God, four eye candy. <laughs> No, I've never seen that many rock candy, rock candy, eye candy in one vending machine before. Got a wall safe here. 11 lock picks to get into that. Okay, some money, it's actually kind of worth it. Yeah, sometimes I feel like points into lock picking are worthless. I don't know that I'll be doing that really anymore, considering that lock picking is not even as good as it used to be. Okay, there's an exit for us, or how I usually view that as an, e an exit for me and an entrance for the next wandering horde that's gonna blow through here. Oh, I guess we're going into the elevator shaft now. Right, and that's taking me, oh, straight down, elevator. Well, we've killed half the zombies, so it can't be that bad, right? There's one guy here, O-Dog. I am kind of concerned though. Whoop. Rusty Knight over there. Let's just get the crossbow. That's a guaranteed kill. And yeah, we've got a couple more zombies and that's it. They are just inside here. More Delis there. And Arlene there. Area clear. How easy was that? All right, let's go lights on. And we'll pick through the rest of the loot here. That can't be too much. Six glue though. Wow, that is excellent. I suppose you can take these apart for rotting flesh. I guess that was some kind of a challenge. Let's check the challenges. It's been a while. There's the rotting flesh one. That's 500 XP, 2500 for the concrete mix I've crafted. And that is actually it, but we're getting close to killing the tourist zombies and the lumberjacks. We got one more lumberjack to kill. Kill 50 demolition zombies. Wow, that would take a while. I'll do the best I can though. All right, and with that, I think we are out of here. Bro, what the flip is this? Uh, okay, running, 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 running. Um, oh my God, it's a dire wolf. A really freaky looking dire wolf. Oh my God. What the heck is this thing? Also, we have spiders. Come on guys, come on. I, I just had a heart attack. My chest hurts. Also, I'm completely going to die here. Whoa, okay. Spider can jump up here after me though. Where did all my hit points? Did the wolf do that much damage? I didn't even really notice. Wow, okay, that was really close. All right, we've got the old Razzle Dazzle and a couple of others here. We gotta clear out to get back to the bike. Kinda running low on nine mil. I've been rocking this thing maybe a little bit too much, but I did craft up about 300 bullets back at home, so that should be ready by the time we get back. And we'll just have to try not to use very much of it on Horde Night. 
We'll get a machete for Horde Knight. But what the hell, man? Oh, Arlene, would you please get out of here? Yeah, what's this guy anyway? He's... Yeah, just bones and rotten flesh and stuff. Oh my god, there's another one down there. Holy crap. All right, well, let's take these guys out. We got a new new vendetta against these guys also, but be, be very careful. They apparently do a ton of damage. Whoop, <laughs> not what I want. Yo, oh, yes. Wow, they do a ton of damage. Those guys are incredibly dangerous. Well, okay, I'm gonna head back home and on the way I'll stop by all of these magazine stands. But yeah, let's go scoop up a reward from Trader Hugh. And then we probably gotta finish off the um, the pit back at the base. Do a little bit of construction here. All right, Huey, I'm back. And what do you have for me this time? A sham chowder. I'll take it. And we don't want new jobs because we don't want restore power. We don't want Munch's Plaza. And I don't want to go west over a click away to Ranger Station Golf either. That's probably in the wasteland. And I actually think he has enough things that I want to buy. Like some magazines, gatherer, tarp armor parts, potatoes, eggs, and stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna go stash my stuff, get the sellables together, and we'll do a bit of like a trader sell-off purchasing spree. Whoop, I heard a lumberjack. Where is he down here? He is, okay, yes, yeah, so we gotta kill this guy because then we get the challenge completion, I think. Whoops, oh my God, I haven't healed up yet. Uh, go ahead and just take that sham chowder. That'll be like 80 health or something. And for goodness sake, don't get hit by this guy. There we go, challenge complete. What was that gonna be for? Explosives. So redeem that, and when we go sell off with Hugh, we will uh, scoop up whatever that's gonna be. But yeah, this is the project right here. We're going to just build a staircase, kinda like this right here, so that the zombies can get out of the pit. Yeah, something just like that, but wider. So last night I got the sister position set up, so we have two identical positions now, and that way if one half of the base collapses, which is entirely possible, and in fact, I would say probable. <laughs> we'll have a, an alternative position with which to hold out through the night. So all we have to do is quick stack and that pushes everything up into the inventory, grab everything off the bike and port the rest up and I'll have to hand sort the rest and I'll do that at nightfall. All right, we'll put the rogue hood away for a second. Give me the ranger hat. We're just gonna wear the ranger hat for the big sell off here. Take the sugar butt and oops, he did not have an awesome sauce. Oh well. He's got some skull crushers though. I'll buy those in just a second. And I do have a skill point available, but I can't take it into better barter. I think we're all set How on that front anyway. Did you kill? Oh, nice. I'm gonna go with regular grenades because, or should we do contact grenades? Yeah, I think the contact grenades probably better. I was thinking for the fighting position, I've used an upside down scaffolding plank and that's really good for setting bombs on. Anyway, may I see your inventory and let's sell him a little bit of stuff here. Okay, that's all he's willing to take. That was a clean $7,500 of profit there. I will take the gunpowder, gatherer, tar, automatic weapons handbook, bow hunters, extra grenades, extra molotovs, acid, eggs, potato, armor parts, lantern, cement, cobblestone, and that's it. Thank you very much. Okay, I have the building materials ready. We're gonna have to build a garden system off the back here. That's what this is for. But for now, we gotta work on the pit down below. Specifically, I need to make like a three... I guess I'll do three block wide jumping block system so that the zombies can exit the pit. But we want them to exit like far away from us. And hopefully that'll buy them some time to kind of cool down on their rage mode a little bit before they circle back around to the front. Because their rage mode was actually doing a ton of damage to the ramp on the last Horde Knight. But as you can see, we have a ton of work to continue ripping out some more snow and to lay in a nice wall in here. Also, I was looking over here last night. Look, this, oh geez, yeah. We are directly under what is now the right-hand side of that door, but zombies could be falling down on the left-hand door there, and so they're just gonna land on the top here, and that is just not what we want. We need to extend this portion of the pit out even further, but we also need the drawbridge to be touching the other side, like where the drawbridge connects. But then we're gonna have to dig this portion over another two meters, I would say. It's probably a little bit nitpicky, but when it comes to Horde Knight, the devil is in the details. Okay, so that's looking quite a lot better. Zombies that get dropped off from the door there have plenty of room now 
to land in the pit right about right here. Now, the biggest concern I have is that I'll be stacking bleed damage on cops and they're going to fall down here and explode like they were on the last Horde Knight. And if that becomes an issue for that block right there, we could see some collapsing. Uh, these, these shapes right here are fine, but they are shielding the important blocks in behind. And also that we might get a little bit of a crater right here. But I guess I'm just going to wait and observe what happens before I make any more drastic changes. And so the zombies are going to be falling down over here. And then they'll immediately start working their way around this side over to the jumping blocks. Jump their way up. That should take them quite a while. Then they're going to wrap it all the way back around this way. All the way to the ramp. And I've cut a hole in here so that the zombies can't attack the side of the ramp anymore. And then they'll work their way up the ramp all the way to us. And we should have no problems with rage mode. Well, at least that's the plan. So for tonight, I need to do some more mining. So I'm going to get my mining gear, some coffee, some rock busters, and I'll probably meet you over at the mine. Okay, here is the mining site. I brought some lights with us this time too, so we can see what we're doing. How about a lantern right there? And I'll just make sure that we have easy egress here as well. And that's it. Okay, so this is mostly iron and nitrate in this mine here. Also going to be getting all the clay soil that I can as well as stone. For now, my goal is to connect up this little hole here. There's like another hole just on the other side because we trapped a bear in here a couple nights ago. Yeah, once I get this clay soil out of here, I'll juice up with coffee and rock busters and we'll start digging this down deeper. All right, there it is. All the soft stuff is cleared out. Out, snow and clay soil now we're just gonna take the rock busters take the coffee and get to work here we need everything we're just gonna dig down layer by layer make a nice long strip mine and it's looking like the steel pickaxe with all of my buffs and stuff is not bad I think I'm actually maintaining full stamina here and I'm two-shotting the iron and I'm one-shotting the stone with it so resource harvesting we are gold now with just this level one pickaxe and the mining gear not to mention the Bunker Buster mod, the Iron Breaker mod, the Ergonomic Grip mod, but still, we're pretty much gold here. Yep, and that'll probably just have to do it there. I just broke my pickaxe, and of course I didn't bring any repair kits with me. I will switch them over to the old one, though, and just see how this does. I guess, yeah, it's not great. It's not too bad, but it's definitely not as good. But I just took a rock buster, so I gotta get the most out of it. We're gonna get some coal now. Fresh new day, you gotta love just the clear skies here in the snow biome. Very satisfying. Whoops, we've got a stag over there. Oh, how did I not kill him with sneak damage? Oh, probably because my preacher gloves, it's damage to the undead, not to deer. And I'm not even wearing them anyway, I'm wearing the mining set, so. Oh, so that's it. I can't even kill a deer with sneaking without my assassin set. Oh, wow. All right, let's find some coal here somewhere. We've got lead. This looks like coal right there, a little black dot there. Black for coal. It's like a tealish color for lead. Then there's like a rusty color for iron and white for nitrate. And survey says, yes, there's some coal right here. I just want to get some gunpowder produced because we need more 9 mil. And that's it for the coffee and the rock busters. Okay, so let's, uh, let me get organized. I'll get the armor back on and uh, we'll head over and see Hugh for one final job today before the horde. Huey, what do you have for me today, buddy? You look like a little girl. <laughs> he has fetch and clear jobs to the north and the southwest. Yeah, what do we got here? Fort money. Bags and the Munches Plaza. He really wants me to do that place. I do not want to do it. I'll take Fort Bags. And I picked up some skull crushers out of the vending machine. I forgot to get the last batch. Speaking of, I should actually go grab some eye candy too. Okay, and our quest is... Oh, okay, right there. Just inside the snow biome, it looks like. It's going to be close to the wasteland. We'll probably get some trickle from the wasteland. All right, I'll meet you over there. All right, here it is, Fort Bags. And I'm beginning to get a sense of why they call it Fort Bags, because there's like a thousand body bags in there. All right, well, let's hit the quest. Let's do this. Okay, same thing we always do here. Let's just, we don't even need the helmet light right now for this, for the exterior at least. Let's, uh, oh, there is a feral crawler there. Whatever. I think his head was buried in the sand anyway, so not gonna get any headshots on the guy. And another feral there. I Morto. Watch the landmines out here. These big guys here, just use the crossbow.
Nope. <laughs> it that startled me a little bit. That guy's taken care of, I guess. Okay, I think the perimeter is pretty much secure now. We can kind of push in a little bit further. Let's just get up in this tower, though. See if we can get a vantage point on any more of these zombies. I'm sure there's somebody up here anyway. Ah, yes. Couple of guys. Oh, this pistol is so good. No, I don't really see anybody from up here. I do see some guys on the compass. There actually might be some burnt people. Yeah, back in the burning pit here. Got to see if I can get a better vantage point. Here we go. That ought to... Come on now. Well, can, can we get sneak damage with grenades? Close enough. That works. Okay, we're seemingly going to go loud here for just a second. A couple of guys in there. Um... Here we go. Whoop. Uh, got ambushed a little bit, but I think we're going to be fine here. Oh, except we do have a rad here. Sean McGee. Uh-oh. Oh, good thing. I've just been backpedaling and I started seeing landmines. And Oh, here we go. Chase me down, guys. I dare ya. Oh, my God. <laughs> there we go. I think we're all clear here now. Too bad I can't pick these up and bring them home with me. That would be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Oh, and there's a bear there. Yeah, we got to take care of that guy. Hopefully, I bet I can one-shot kill him. If not, then the... No, we got him. I was going to say, if not, the landmines will get him. And I'm bringing home the meat. Great parking spot, by the way. <laughs> right next to a landmine. I didn't even see that pulling in. Whoop! Oh, did you see how close that was? Oh my god. Okay, let's just, yeah, back it up. Back it up here. Reload. I think we're done on the top side. Oh, not quite actually. And the supply satchel is top side here somewhere. It's right inside here. All right, we got one more guy. Molly Magoo. You wanna wake up for me? Maybe you wanna get blown up for me as well? That was dramatic. That's a lot worse than I thought it would be. Luckily, the satchel is still intact. Oh, also people in the tower up here. It's a lot of zombies just top side up here. I think we've still got a whole host of them down below as well, and I haven't even been inside this room here. I'm pretty sure this is clear, though. Just scoop up that first aid there. Yep, all clear here. So in that case, I believe the only thing left to do is to head downstairs over here. And, okay, yeah, we have some barrels here still to play with if we want to. I might even just make life difficult for some zombies if I want to kind of come up the stairs and run over there. I'm giving myself some options anyway. Okay, we're gonna go just straight up lights out for this. Get my laser on. Open this door. Hard chance to sneak up on zombies in here. But I'll do the best I can. Okay, here we go. Got my first target. Down? down and but I can hear some people walking around and now someone's growling at me I just pull them up here top side hello oh just a mutated zombie not sure how you woke up I've been seeing that a lot lately just like sleeper zombies that are not asleep that are just up and walking around like I don't think I woke them up but nonetheless here they are Oh, now it's it's on now. Okay, we're out of here up and over and get me the uh, the burst mod here Yep, bring them into the spikes wait for it and boom take out a couple of them at least Just gonna deal with Fafu Fafu here There we go. We got two more I think Did I get any kills over here? Whoa red white. Okay. I got just the thing for this guy Couple of con- no 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 don't you dare walk away from these contact grenades. Okay, that might be doing something, but it's not doing very much. Neither is that, honestly. Come over here to the landmines. My last line of defense. I'm just gonna have to try to kite him just perfectly into this. Whoop, whoop, come on. This way, this way. Run, 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 run. There we go, it's working. Did he lose a leg? Not quite. Here. Try that. Nah, I got him that time. Okay, one more guy, and he is stuck down here somewhere. Hopefully it's just not a mutated zombie that's just gonna 
spew radiated juice everywhere. No, it's just Mo. And that's it. We're done. Okay, so I brought the eye candy with me. We'll take that and I'll put on my rogue hood now with a helmet flashlight so I can see what I'm looting. And let's start picking this stuff up. Got a mag extender mod off the bat there. Some crap there. Unlock this. Lockpicking's not treating me well today. Yeah, that was 14 lockpicks to get into that. What kind of foolishness is that, anyway? We got commando gloves out of it, couple of forge ahead mags. Otherwise, not much there. All right, I guess I'll pick through the rest of the loot here, and then I'll meet you back at Hughes for our quest reward. Another quest reward from Huey today. Beaker? I've got the beaker for the chem station that we're going to eventually make, but... I mean, hobo stew? Do I really need that? I guess I'll take it. I'm hungry anyway, sure. And I think we're all set with you for the day. Now we just gotta get the base tidied up a little bit for Horde Night tonight. All right, let's kick things off tonight with a little bit of decoration. Where can I put this tank painting that I just found at the other, at the Fort Bags? Kind of fitting that I find that there. Um, okay, yeah, and let's get this portion up here filled in with cubes because this is just basically going to be a backdrop for posters and such. Got a couple of flags made up. Let's see what we have here. We have pretty much everything to choose from. I want the top hung thick 44 black flag. Let's see if I can just hang that kind of front and center up there like so. Perfect. And let me get up on the rooftop. We got to finish off the roof system here because we are definitely going to have birds tonight and I want to have a system in place to deal with them. First things first though. So all the dew collectors down below are exposed enough so that they are collecting dew for me. So, but what I need to do here is I need to get um, just the right shape. What is, what is the situation down here? Whoop, we are getting a screamer here. She should come up, whoa, a rad screamer. What the heck? Um, I killed her, 1200 XP. That wasn't so bad, but holy crap. I guess that's just a thing now. Right, what I was doing there is I actually want, I want cube corner bevels, I think will probably look the best for, I guess, this part right here. Kind of like where, where the rooftop terminates, because it'll kind of match the uh, ramp incline that we're using there on the bottom. And we'll need to use security gate plates so that water can continue to trickle down here to the dew collectors. A wedge narrow low should look pretty good. It'll flush up to the half blocks on one side and kind of and, and just slope up toward the security gates on the other side. Does that kind of look off the way I did it there? Like, shouldn't this line right here be the full cube and this line right here be the half meter? I guess I could do that at some point. Here, let's just copy shape and rotation though and we can tear this whole thing off and replace it with cobblestone instead. Okay, there we go. So we got a solid rooftop now. Let's um, copy shape and rotation on this as well and slide these ramp inclines in to solidify this edge. And then on top of those, let's go with the same sort of system we're going with here with the industrial rails. Kind of like the idea of doing it on the outside like so. Let's try that. Okay, there we go. And I don't think we need anything on the top. A bird might swoop in here occasionally from time to time. I guess it is what it is. And then I should just be able to come up here and drop in, like, a couple of spikes. Like, so, kind of. And then, where do I stand, specifically? I'm going to be standing, like, right underneath these spikes. So that should be fine to fend off the vultures. And I was kind of thinking to myself, instead of having, like... Because we're going to land a gyrocopter up here someday... Instead of having just one huge sheet of glass, let's just make a little support beam going across the middle like so, and then another one kind of cutting it into quarters like this. And then we'll go to windows, and yeah, we could do the four-sided bulletproof fulls, or we could make, make these into like kind of big sheets, which would require some specific rotations. So I'll have to kind of do this one by one here. Okay, that does it for the glass, and we now have a solid rooftop, which makes me feel a lot better about myself. Let's just get a regular hatch on top of this temporarily, or perhaps until I figure something else out. 
And yeah, we're pretty well buttoned up here now. Just get me the hammer and also grab up some forged steel. I've been working on this all week. 276 there. Wow, three skill points to spend. Hold on a second. Deep cuts whirlwind and gunslinger that should help us out a lot tonight <gasps> i didn't get a machete yet uh oh can i machete level two craft that it'll take a minute okay that's gonna be better than the hunting knife for this position right here so we want steel 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 in here and the rest basically up to concrete and then if i can just sneak my hand through there and get concrete on the back railings Mm, you know what? We've got the steel. Let's just go steel on the back railings there. And I'm going to have to get out there now and see how that looks from the other side. But first, let's just replicate that on this side over here, the fail-safe side. And there should be plenty more mix rolling in one of the two cement mixers that I have now. The ramp should be fine. I don't anticipate the ramp taking a ton of damage like it was before. This was all rage mode over here that was doing all that damage. But let's... Um, yeah, see, this side is connected. I did the whole plate magnet thing, but I did it on the ramp side because I was a little bit concerned that the zombies at one point kind of wanted to break through this wall here to get into the crafting room. And I thought that might be because these plates here, like, you can kind of technically stand on those a little bit. Well, it's a little bit late now. I'll probably peel those off and I'll replace them onto this side for the next horde. Let's just... Yeah, we want to make sure that at least one position is as strong as possible. In a perfect scenario, we would only fight on one side during the night. We just have the failsafe just in case. Okay, so that's not as good as I can do, but that's as good as I'm willing to do for tonight, I think. Alright, we've got the new machete burning shaft mod onto it. Nice. Just grab up my skull crushers and grab up my coffee and my regular grenades because what I can do with my regular grenades here is I can toss it onto the scaffolding plank to hold it perfectly in the zombies' faces. It's gonna be great. And with that, my friends, let's lock and load because the horde is almost upon us. Here they come. A couple of them are, for some reason, bashing on the ramp. I'm not sure. I thought we tested this and everything was working fine. We do have good volume up here, though. And the machete is working so well. Multiple bleeds, multiple decapitations per swing. I love it. Okay, and if things begin to get a little bit too hot up here, we just drop them down for a second. Oh, <laughs> Nurse's head's rolling around to the scaffolding flank here. Yeah, by dropping them off here, it gives us a chance to repair and lets the zombies cycle back up on fire and bleeding to death. Oh boy, we've got rads here. Did we have rads last time? I don't think that we did, but we've got rads now. It doesn't matter. Okay, and it's a rad mo too. He's a little bit tanky. Let's just try the whole grenade onto the scaffolding flank system. And how'd that work? Pretty well, I would say. <laughs> that is really fun to watch. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, take a quick break there so that I can assess the damage so far. Whoops. Okay, some of them, they're climbing on top of the railing that's on the outside there. But overall, things are not looking too bad here. Okay, and they still want to come up here, even though the door is down, but they can't do very much about it. Hopefully that doesn't become an issue sometime in the future. Okay, the zombies that fall down and the loot bags seem to be accumulating right kind of exactly where we predicted that they would. And so they just fall down and then they cycle around to the back of the base where they then have to jump and make their way back around. Oh man, things are going so well up here. Look at the decap. If I just focus for a second on just chopping, we can slice right through the horde, reset the couple that are kind of crouched down there. Not much I can do about that. I mean, the pistol, it's okay, but against these rad mows, really not so much. Okay, go ahead and take a break down there, guys. Go bleed, go burn for a little bit. Get a fresh crop in here. And 
I don't think they've broken a single block yet. Recycle those ones, and we're back at it. I think the only thing that would make this better is if we can get some traps to kind of help us out. What could we do here? We could put a dark trap, like, right above where they're standing here, and try to dart them a little bit. Dark traps require a lot of iron, though, but I'm honestly feeling fine about the whole mining situation. How's this looking? Not even 50%. And we've already made it to midnight. That means we're on to a new wave and we've got radiated janitors now in this one. Threshold Slayer, we got War Machine 762 up here. The Omnipresent. Yeah, okay, we've got some rad spiders on this one, which is bad news. I also saw a cop just a second ago and I think we still have leftover rads from the last wave. Oh my God, we got a demolisher zombie here. Oh crap. <laughs> Are you ki- already? Here. Okay, I'm not even gonna bother trying to kill that guy. He's just gonna run laps all night long, pretty much. We can ill afford a demolition blast when 90% of the base right now is made out of cobblestone. Okay, you guys gotta take a break for a second, and I need to get this fixed up. I think the demolisher took like one swing at it and practically destroyed it. Well, that is the payment. The payment for all the good loot that we've been getting is that we now have to deal with freaking radiated zombies, cops, ferals, and now demolishers up here in the horde base at Horde Night. Uh oh, uh oh, I just put a grenade down and the demo is right here somewhere. Okay, that worked out pretty well. We're gonna need another grenade though, I can tell. Look, we got quite a stack up here. Stand back, blast them, drop them off, and then time to get some repairs done. Okay, we are halfway through the night. Wish me luck. We'll grind through this the best we can and just keep our fingers crossed that nothing disastrous happens. We made it until morning, however, I don't think things could be really looking much worse right now. I am perched on top of the fighting position because the zombies didn't want to path over to the other one because there's a clump of something that they were, like, stuck on over there. Okay, I'm gonna have to bring these guys out to ground level or something or else we risk losing the base and having zombies infiltrate. Okay, so they are now starting to path over to the other side. Okay, that is good. We did have a demo blast. The first, the first of what will probably be many. It's okay, I think this fighting position over here can hold. Yeah, let's just go check and make sure that that one guy, yeah, he's not here anymore. Okay, so we're not risking zombies inside the base, but we have a ton of cleanup work left to do here. Uh, I'm gonna need a coffee to close things out. Um, <laughs> this has been kind of a disaster. We've got feral whites. We've got rads galore. Yeah, we might need to take a vacation here at some point and go back to um, our forest biome base for a week or so. Okay, well, good thing we got the secondary position in place and secure. This should allow us to kill the rest of the zombies tonight and get that little bit of extra XP here. In fact, I've got four regular grenades left to start using those. Honestly, these rads are impervious to it, pretty much. And I don't have a rad remover either, so they're just healing this entire time. The bleed and the, the fire from this probably just barely counteracts the radiated regeneration that they have. It's okay, I occasionally get a kill with this machete. We are gonna need a much better machete, and we are gonna need that tier six pair of preacher gloves if we're gonna continue doing this, though. I mean, I'm certainly not gonna sit here with a nine mil all night long and use, like, this is better than the nine mil, no question. But we need better guns for sure, like, 
This kind of a horde needs an SMG and Desert Vulture setup to defeat. Not not a level 2 pistol setup, you know? Okay, take a break, guys. I need to do some repairs here. Yeah, I'd say there's still 20 or so zombies left over, so I'll do the best I can throughout the morning to dispatch them. That might have been it right there. I don't hear any more. One grenade left. Okay, let's go over here and just assess the damage. It didn't look too bad from my end. I think we lost the tip of the wing there. That's easy enough to replace. I did lose the door here. That's easy enough to replace and should not be as much of an issue. Oh, got some crawlers down here. Shouldn't be as much of an issue if we um, get some vault doors, some automated vault doors. So that, that will come at some point. In fact, I need to start putting some points into advanced engineering to kind of expedite that a little bit. These guys must have been victims of the grenades. <laughs> All right, how did we do down here? Okay, so this held up really well. Okay, so we didn't have any stability problems up until where the demo blew up, and that is why we lost some pieces off the wing there. That shouldn't be as much of an issue if we get this upgraded to steel, which is just what we have to do now, now that the demos are here. We got like basically no loot bags. I, don't, I didn't really kill any zombies last night. I was panicking the whole time. Oh, in fact, I, I've been wearing the rogue hood like I, for God knows how long. It doesn't matter though, because I was not getting any sneak damage either. So let's loot up as we go here. See if we can pull anything halfway decent out of these loot bags. I'm getting the impression that it's the same old junk. I did get a treasure map out of that one. That's a good score. And two more. Oh, that's a nice hammer, actually. That's not too bad. I'll start drinking some water, make some room here. Read that treasure map. Hopefully that's sending me to the wasteland. I'll check here in just a second. One more blue loot bag. I guess, yeah, that's unfortunate. I didn't get one of those good red loot bags out of the demo. Oh, I don't think he gives you a loot bag, though, does he? If he explodes? Yeah, you're just... You're screwed in that case. All right, well, we did make it. Where was that treasure map anyway? That is to the Northwest. Okay, we'll hit that up probably tomorrow. I might wanna do a little bit of an exploration run around the city there as well. All right, my friends, that is gonna have to do it for this one. There are many more dangerous adventures yet to come around here, and I'm gonna need you there to watch my back anyway. Thanks very much for joining me on this one, and I will see you a little bit later on this morning. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.